yesterday. So you had a man before yesterday? For two years. I'm not gonna lie, I got a appointment coming. Well, who? My best friend. You were friends with this guy while you were. Hold on. I think I reacted to this before. But just in case you didn't hear what she said, she said that she just broke up with her boyfriend yesterday and today she have a penis appointment. <laughs> I, I know I reacted to this before, but let, let's continue. Dating your, your boyfriend? I've been friends with him before I knew my ex, I guess now. I'm so disappointed in you, though. Why? You're going to go f your best friend a day after breaking up with your boyfriend. That means you wanted to f your best friend while you were dating, dating your boyfriend. Dating boyfriend, yep. Like, no, it is not. I'm single as of yesterday. It is not that complicated. He he read you for filth. I'm not going to spend too long on this. I don't believe in male best friends for females that are in relationships. I know a lot of y'all may not agree with me on this, but the reason why I'm not like a big fan of that is I feel as though those type of relationships leave room for confusion before y'all come for me in the comment section be honest with yourself because i'm pretty sure your male best friend if you have one have thrown some hints that you just did not catch okay you might still be asleep so don't come for me it don't matter what age man if you have a male best friend he is waiting his turn patient he in the bushes with a ghillie suit on if you don't know what a ghillie suit is look it up Now y'all, I know I'm married, I love my wife, I got a whole ass family, but let's have this real ass conversation. White women have been, have, I don't know what white, white women may have discovered the secret. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was poking. Hold on now. Don't don't crucify me. I don't I don't know what's been going on. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know if it's the Chick-fil-A. I don't know if it's the Zaxby's, but they they got their own thing that that's that's uh <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of white women from Cheeks Island. It's been a lot of them from Cheeks Island now. I don't know what's going on. I ain't mad at it. I mean, shoot. I can't do nothing. I'm married, but I ain't mad at it. Go ahead with your bad self, sister. Basically, all a renegade is is a 304 without a 16. And what a 16 is, what is the 16th letter in the alphabet? So. What? A renegade is a three or four. So now, from what I know, a three or four is a three or four is a is is a, a hoe. Okay, right? Without a sixteen, what is the sixteenth letter in the alphabet? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. A renegade is a transgender 304. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. A renegade. Yo. Yo. The word gymnastics is crazy. The word gymnastics is crazy. I did not know that. I, I just learned something new. A renegade is a transgender three three or four. Uh, my 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 yurt. I I go upstairs. Go go. Say Kim. Mm -hmm. What was you doing upstairs? I'm watching a movie. You watching a movie? What movie you watching? Captain Underpants got a movie. Captain Underpants got a movie. Mm -hmm. 
close this and finish charging. Okay, I'm gonna I'm come check. He don't want to hear me make no noise. <sighs> wow, I he can't hear this. I I'm I'm. Uh, Lord have mercy. A 304 without a 16 is a renegade, and actually that's very looked down upon. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay to be a renegade. It is. But, you know, like, you need to have some ism. You gotta have proper instructions. Like, that girl is a prime example. Like, she lost in the sauce, like, straight up. There's different levels to this renegade shit. Um, there's a word, you know, I'm not gonna say it. It's spelled F-A-G-G-O-T. We use that term in our game, and it's not to disrespect anybody's sexuality. We'll call it a renegade, because that's what they are. That's what we use it for. But, um, yeah, a renegade is basically a bitch that is, a, and she not paying no pimp. Basically, all a renegade... Renegade, never been afraid to say it was on my mind at every given time of day because I'm a renegade. Never been afraid to holler about anything, anything, anything. I had to hustle my back to the wall, ashy knuckles, pockets full of lint, not a cent. Got to, yo, a lot of innocent lives lost on the project bench. Bro, y'all not finna take Renegade away from us, bro. Y'all not finna do that. Y'all not gonna do that, bro. No, y'all are not going to do that. You're not taking Renegade from us. Y'all got, y'all got day, y'all got them. Come on, y'all. I'm going to get canceled. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, they going to cancel my ass for this one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no way. This girl just posted on Instagram that she had hung out with her friend on a Monday. They talked, caught up, everything was great. On Friday, her friend posted on Facebook that she closed on a house. She said she cut that friend off because why did I have to find out on social media that you closed on a house? Who are you? Why do I need to tell you everything that's going on in my life? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If somebody cut you off when... You have happy news like that. That means that they have always been hating on you. And they only stick around to see your downfall. Do not sleep. It's people around you right now. That you might think in your corner. But they really just dare to see when you fall. Be careful who around you. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here. That don't like the food you cooking and they can't wait for you to turn your back so they can throw some extra salt in that shit. But I like my man out of shape. If I see that you got too many muscles, I'm going to feel like you trying to go to the gym to replace something downstairs that's not growing. I have seen it too many times. These men be trying to make up for what they ain't got downstairs at that gym. So if I see you doing too much at the gym, I'm going to feel like you trying to replace that. I'm going to feel like you ain't got nothing going on downstairs. But I like my man out of shape. Now, I should be happy because I'm out of shape. I ain't going to lie. I got a little stomach. I should be happy because I'm out of shape. But we can't do shit. We can't be fat. We can't be skinny. We can't go to the gym and want to work on ourselves. Now, I ain't going to hold you. Pause. I know it might seem like I'm about to jaywalk, but I ain't jaywalking. Just just, just, just hear me out. I done been to the gym. First off, if you in the gym around grown-ass men, put a towel on. And the first thing I'm going to say, put a towel on. Because some of y'all folks be too comfortable walking around butt-ass naked. Like, bro, we not in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? We not. Just put a towel on when you're around grown men. But... Pause. Pause. Triple pause, double pause, quadruple pause. I have been to the gym, bro. 
And I'm I'm short. I'm five six. I ain't gonna lie. I'm five six. And I'm not trying to like make myself feel better. But ladies, some of y'all be talking about I want a man that's six foot this and six six foot. Let me tell you something. I don't even know how to break it. I don't even know how to say it without sounding gay. But I don't even know how to break. I don't even know how to say it without sounding gay, my nigga. But I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I have been to the gym. That's all I'm gonna say, man. I have been to the gym, and I don't mind being five six. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You feel me? Now I ain't out here. I ain't look. I don't got porn on meat. I ain't saying I got porn on meat. <laughs> but some of these six feet got Vienna sausages. <laughs> don't sleep. You can want you a six foot nigga, but yeah. <laughs> I I don't I listen. Ha! Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Where the f did this come from? Yo, listen, man. I'm done, bro. I don't, I don't know how to say it without sounding mo. I might take this out of the video. The kidnapping, I sentenced to 11 years plus three years for the gun. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Damn, she giving him football numbers. Nine and ten, there are no sentences because they um, worked with count five, count eleven. The hey, look at the lawyer acting like he taking notes. Fourth degree, I said, twelve months. Look at the God damn. what he did he first, I heard kidnapping off the rip you kidnap somebody come on my boy <laughs> come on she's not gonna have no type of sympathy for you you got kidnapping as one of your charges nah son bro I'm gonna keep it 100 with you I do not want to be a real n I don't care about being a real n I ain't gonna hold you I ain't no rat you feel what I'm saying I believe that if you do the, if you do the crime you shouldn't have a problem doing the time all right in all other situations I'm going to mind my business. If I'm going to mind my business. But with that being said, bro, this is where all the real n end up, bro. See, that's why I'm going to show the world how you I be doing. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. See, he why, broke see, her see, TV he paid for because she spent his birthday. My birthday with another dude. Nigga, he was busy. Exactly. Tell the world this. She's a gold digger. Nigga, you trifling anyway. And what you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go right there. How you going to spend my birthday with another dude? Damn. I'm a gold digger, but you I'm a gold digger. I'm a gold digger, but you had but you had some had some jugs in your face at the strip club. Nah, bro. That's man, come on, man. Jugs in your face at the strip club. Yeah, nah. Nah. Anyways, it don't matter. It don't matter. You're not getting this TV back. Stop following me. Yeah. Stop following me. Tell the world me. how you got poked in the eye, too, by that nipple. Hey, yo. See, so look at you. Look at lame, you. Bro. Yeah, you lame. You lame. Always talking like, this is why I don't want to be with you. And that's why I'm telling you right now. Now, don't cap. Don't you cap like you don't want to be with her now. That's your conversation. Don't cap like you don't want to be with her. You hurt. You're not getting this. All right. You can't even get You can't even fit it in the trash. You're not getting it. You're not getting it back. You might as well wrap it up. You're not getting it back. It's done for. Childish, my boy. You can have a cord. You can plug it in. You trifling. You know that, right? You're childish. You're getting this back. You, you see everybody? When you act like... See, that's why I'm going to show the world. He childish, but I feel him. Ain't no way me and you finna break up and your new man finna be watching Netflix on the TV that I bought for you. Technically, I bought for us. Because really... If I'm buying a TV to put in your apartment, it's for when I come over there. I'm going to be honest with you. So, 
If I'm no longer going to be over there, the TV going with me. I'm keeping it 100. I think the most disrespectful thing a female could do, not the most, but, you know, and I don't I don't pay for Netflix. I'm, I'm currently sharing a Netflix account with somebody. I'm low-key dry snitching on myself because Netflix has been cracking down. But imagine you actually paying for Netflix, right? And I feel as though you have to be a special type of individual to pay for Netflix. Because keep it 100, you cannot count on your hand more than two people that's paying for Netflix. Everybody's sharing an account from somebody else, okay? But imagine you as a man paying for Netflix. And your girl got your Netflix password. And she give it to her side dude. Or she give it to her new man. That's demonic behavior, dog. <laughs> Let's keep it a hundred. That's demonic behavior. Mm. Hey, man. Anyway, bro. This is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and comment. And also, man, you can go in the description of the video. And you can follow me on Instagram at Overdose Last. A lot of y'all have been sending me videos, and I appreciate you for sending me the videos. But yeah, man, holla at me, dog. Let's let's run it up, man. We finna be at a hundred k. We just hit sixty k, and I'm I'm ecstatic about that. But I know we're gonna be at a hundred k. Before the middle of next year. 